This is Michael Orl of MobileBurn.com. We're at the 2009 Mobile World Congress event in Barcelona, and I have in my hands the LG KM900 Arena, one of the new phones that uh, LG has announced here at the show. You can see the Arena features a full-size touchscreen, and it has LG's new 3D-type user interface. Now, a lot of these panels haven't been set up yet, so there's not much information on them, but they all appear to be user-configurable. Pull up the main menu here. Everything's broken down into zones. You can see it's like communication, multimedia, utilities, and settings there at the bottom. I'll pull up the settings. Smooth scrolling, you know, good animations, easy to track visually. In terms of the physical design, simple volume control over here on the side, camera shutter button that works with the camera right there. Nothing on the left side. Really nothing on the bottom. Nothing on the top except for a headset port. Good looking device. This is a proprietary LG power port though, which is a bit of a downer. For those of you watching in HD, you might be able to read the specs over there. This is the T-Mobile version. We're in T-Mobile Germany's booth, so good. So that's our first look at the KM900 Arena from LG at Mobile World Congress 2009. It just means the icons fill the screen up. And if we go back to the home screen, this is what we call our S-Class user interface. And it is... Um, and it's all built on a cube design. So if we just wait the screen up here, there's actually four sides to it. And we scroll across like that. And if I zoom out, I can show you what's on the cube. So there's one side for widgets, which you can customize. Which you can customize to whichever widgets you use most often. Let's go around again, and that's where all your shortcuts are. Again, your multimedia files go on there, so music and pictures, and then your contacts as well. Now, these floating contacts in a kind of Rolodex format um, are fully customizable, so you can have every single contact if you want, or you can just have maybe the five people you call most often, so that when you scroll through them, so there's only two set up on this particular device, when you scroll through them all, it just works just like the MP3 files here. So you can have everyone or just one or two. And that's the same with the music and the same with the with the images. So if there were images on this handset, they would come up along there as well. So I'm going to take you through just a couple of the features. So if we go back into the home menu there, and we're going to go into the alarms. And this is a pretty standard feature, but it's a really good, really good way of showing you just how the user interface makes everything so much easier on this phone. So here, you just move the hands of the clock round to wherever you want your alarm to go, and it turns off and on in the middle there. I should turn that off because this is my colleague's handset. It'll go off in the middle of the night or something. And you just come out of it there. What's also pretty unique about this handset is that the uh, radio on it, if we just... Where did I leave the radio? Here we go. So you need a handset, a uh, headset, sorry, for the aerial more than anything. The radio here, you just scroll using the dial. With the haptic feedback, it really does actually feel like you're scrolling through and turning a dial. Now this has RDS on it as well, so when you find a station, it tunes in, it'll actually tell you what the station's called. And you can save, um, I think it's up to 32 different stations or presets down there as well. The FM functionality also works in this handset as a transmitter. So when you're playing your music files, you can play it through your headset, headphones that go in the three and a half mil jack on the top there, or you can uh, broadcast to an FM device, maybe your pop stereo or your, uh, or your radio at home. So you can really share your music with everyone on this device. And the availability, when will this come to market? This will come out in the UK uh, towards the end of March. It's going to be on T-Mobile and Orange from launch. It's 
Do anything else you particularly like? This come up anyway. So then you can type there, or just switch it up the other way. There we go, and the accelerometer kicks in. Yeah. We've got pre-production samples here, which are full of surprises. Let's do that again. There we go. So you can um, just start tapping away. And then you'd go to send. Which again, this one isn't going to do it. So we just put the cube in. Marley Charles, and we're going to have it to the gallery. It brings up the handset. We are not Away we get. For those of you wondering, this is a Microsoft Surface based device we're seeing. Notice she's using gestures to move pictures around. Pretty cool. What do the other cubes do? Bring up different features? Yeah, so we can add contacts. Thank you. 